Welcome back, my friends, to the Art Lab in a Box. It's Sam, and we are here to make really cool panda things. The first thing we are gonna make is this very cute panda tote. We are gonna tie dye it and even learn how to paint a panda. It is so cute. So go ahead, get inside your box. I'm gonna show you guys what you need. For this art project, you are going to need your yellow bag and the contents inside. We need some black paint, a dropper, a paintbrush, some elastics, your three colors of tie-dye, your tote bag, which is 100% cotton, which is really important for this project when you're using tie-dye. And I just have a container here of hot water. It doesn't have to be in a squeeze bottle. It can be a, in a cup. It can be in anything. Um, we are just going to use this hot water to activate our tie-dye, okay? So go and get your things ready. Get yourself some hot water. Make sure you have help from an adult when you're dealing with your hot water. It doesn't have to be boiling, but make sure it's at least really warm to dissolve the tie-dye. All right, I'll see you guys back here in a little bit. So this next step is very simple, but can be challenging. So this is the only part I think you may need a little bit of help, but we'll see. Just pull the tag off of your bag and get ready to fold it. It is time to fold up our bag. I'm going to use a fan style where I go kind of um, back and forth, back and forth, like in a fan folding way, if you can see. If this is too difficult for you, you can just scrunch it up from one side to the other. You could do a bull di bullseye design. There's so many different things you can do. I'm just kind of scrunching it up on the side, making a simple fan shape. All right, so here I am adding the elastics to keep it in place. If this is too difficult for you, you can ask an adult for help. I just kind of stretch the elastic open and fit all the fabric through the inside and twist it around to get it on. And I add elastics across the entire bag. You can it's add as many working. as you want. Okay. I added about six, um, but you can add four, you can add three, whatever you would like. Just make sure they're on nice and tight. Go ahead, press pause, it's your turn. Now this is a very important step. You're going to need to go and get your canvas bag completely wet. Run it under tap water until it's completely soaking wet and bring it back. Squeeze it out a tiny bit, but bring it back and put it on some sort of tray or baking sheet or large plate. Okay, go ahead, press pause and get ready to do that. Open up your tie-dyes and get that warm water from earlier. If it's gotten cold, just go and get some new warm water. I'm just squirting some in to each color, filling it almost all the way to the top. We don't want to go too high and spill it everywhere, but we want to fill them to the top. The colors are going to be really dark. And be careful, this stuff is going to stain your hands. So get some gloves if you'd like, or just be cautious and try not to rub your hands in it. All right, go ahead, press pause and make your tie dye. Don't forget to mix them up. We are gonna be using our dropper now. Our dropper is this fun little shape thing. Let's start with the red. I'm gonna give it a little stir in case there's any pieces on the bottom still. Okay. And to get some dye inside my dropper, I'm just gonna squeeze the end like this, get some color inside and drop it on top. See how it nicely soaks Spinning. into the fabric? Okay. That's because our canvas bag is wet. So if yours is dry, make sure it's nice and wet throughout the process of your dyeing. Okay, so I've done some red. I'm gonna add a little bit more. This time I'm gonna add some blue. So once again, stirring it up before, just giving a little swirl. I am gonna add a little bit of blue. Let's see how this looks. Squeezing the end, some is gonna go inside. Wow, it is nice and dark. I see it's bleeding through to the other side a little bit and that is just perfectly fine. It's just gonna make a nice blending of colors together. I have blue, hot pink, and green. I wonder if you have the same colors. 
here I go. Each section here, see how the elastics are in sections? I'm making each section a different color. Go back to the red. You can rinse your dropper in between if you'd like. I just kind of go from one to the other, making sure I squirt all of the other color before I go back into a new color. And make sure you get in between those cracks, in between all the lines, and make sure your canvas bag is nice and covered. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let you press pause and have your turn. I am gonna make sure that everything is nice and covered. I'm even going to do the handles. All right, now that we are done, we are going to close up our tie-dye so we don't spill them. And you should definitely, definitely have some left over, which means that you can tie-dye your other things at home. So if you have like a stained shirt or a pillowcase or some socks, as long as it's made of cotton, you should be able to dye it and it will be really cool. Now I'm gonna clean up my workspace a little bit just to have a nice clear space to open up my canvas bag. I suggest you do the same. Go put your tray in the sink, rinse it, and put down um, the same tray or another plate or a piece of paper, something to protect your table. All right, press pause and go ahead and do that. I am all cleaned up and ready to cut my elastics. You can pull the elastics off with your fingers. It can tend to be a little messier, or you can do what I'm going to do and use some scissors. I'm just going to make sure not cutting my bag. I just please put my cool, scissors under cool, there, and these cool, are just cool, snapping cool. off super easy. Oh, sh these are just blasting off. Let's see how it looks. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow, it's really white inside. Okay, so I don't think that mine really has enough color, even though, honestly, I do think it looks really cool. I do really like it, um, and we do still need to rinse it so the colors will bleed out. But I think that I'm going to add a little more tie-dye to my bag. So if your colors aren't di dark Pretty enough either, I am then unimpressed. you can fold it back up and add a little bit more dye, or wet your bag again and add a little bit more dye. Okay, let's open this up. My hands have gotten a little messy, but that's okay. It will wash off after a while. Okay, this looks really nice. I like this much more, and I know when I rinse it, the colors are gonna bleed out even more and make a fun color. Okay, great. So if you're done with yours, it's time to go rinse it in the sink, okay? Make My sure you're putting is. something underneath it or carrying your tray so you don't drip tie-dye all over your house, okay? Carefully bring it to a sink and rinse it out very good. Now that we have rinsed it, ta-da! I love it. It has the perfect splash of color and some stripes on it, and I cannot wait to paint on it. But before we can paint, we have to go on a little trip and go on outside to let our bag dry. It is a warm sunny day out here, so I'm gonna put it outside so that it can dry. If it is not a warm sunny day there, then just leave it somewhere to dry or you can use a hair dryer to speed up the process. Time to go and get your black paint ready. We are gonna paint. For this next part, I'm using a bowl to trace a black circle with my black paint to make the shape of a panda's head. And then I've added two black ears and now I'm just gonna paint them in. So it's your turn. Go ahead, get your black paint and start with this basic shape. Press pause and do it just like I did. If your circle is not perfect, don't worry. Panda's heads aren't actually a perfect circle shape, so it'll probably look more realistic. It's time to press pause and do yours.
The next step, we are going to draw the panda eyes. First, we are going to do the round shapes that go around the panda's eyes. So let's start by making an 11, the number 11. Two lines directly next to each other, just like this, kind of at the top where the eyes would go. Now it's time to make a curved line coming out of each side. There we go. So mine kind of looks like a backwards D. I'm just kind of making like an arch from one end of the line to the other. Keep dipping your paintbrush back in the paint as you need it. It's best to flatten out your bag as much as you can if it is crumpled up still. It's going to be much easier to paint. Now I'm going to do the other side. Just going to take my time, put lots of paint on my brush. And this time I'm going to do a D the right way, a capital D. Once again, does not have to be a perfect shape. Every panda looks different. And as you can see, I did two little circles inside the D's that I made because that is where the pupil of the eye is gonna go. I'm gonna paint everywhere but inside those circles. So you can imagine the circles with your eyes or you can draw them with a pencil to make sure you don't paint in them. But see how I'm just tracing around like this? Exactly. That is the inside of the panda's eye and I'm just gonna fill the rest in with some black. Do you think you can do that? If you'd like to watch again, just rewind a little bit and watch again. But I think you've got this. You can do your two panda eyes. All right, go ahead, press pause and make your two panda eyes. It is time to draw our panda's nose, or sorry, paint our panda's nose. I'm just gonna get a lot of paint on my brush and press my brush into the bag on each side like this, making a heart shape using my brush. If you don't wanna make yours a heart shape and you wanna make it a triangle shape or a circle shape or an oval shape, go ahead, be creative. This is the shape that I'm choosing to do, just a little heart. If your heart isn't working out, just do a little circle and it'll be great. And then underneath that heart, I just do a line coming down and a cute little panda smile, an arch going up each side. All right, go ahead and press pause. It's your turn to draw your panda's nose and mouth. I am just finishing up my panda. I absolutely love it. It is so fun. If you want to draw the same panda on the other side of your bag, go ahead. Or you can even draw something different if you would like. I really like the way mine looks. Great job. So, what do you think? It looks pretty good, I'd say. How's yours looking? I really like the eyes and the ears. It's just so cute. I had so much fun making this. You guys, great job. I'm so proud of you, and I will see you again next time at the Art Lab in a Box. Bye! Oh, my God.